Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Tuesday, the third day of March 2015 and this is a, the daily report for gold and silver. We do have the precious metals across the board. They are trading lower this morning. Gold currently trading at roughly a 12.01 and change. According to Kitco, 12.0140 is low. When we take a look at our charts today, we are showing a low of approximately 11.95 on the day, high 12.1390. That is according to Kitco. And on our charts, we are showing a high of about the same, I'll call it 12.14 and change. We were in fact stopped out. We really raised that stop up higher. We got in at roughly 12.11. We initially put our stop below 91, but I didn't see the follow through that we really needed to see. So we tightened up that stop to put it just below, uh, call it uh, 12.04, markets trading 12.02. So we did take a calculated loss on the trade. I'm sorry to say it was a loss, but it was a, a very, very small calculated loss nonetheless. Silver, also a trading lower on the day with a low of 16.13, a high of 16.52 right around mid-range, currently trading roughly at 1624. We'll look at silver in a little bit. No doubt, interesting day in the market. We are seeing gold back off in terms of pricing. We're seeing very similar activity in which it came up. It really hit this high, and this is where I had some real concern, was the fact that after three attempts to take out uh, this particular high, and that high running roughly at 1220 uh, really gold prices were unable to do that with that in mind we have seen these prices drifting lower a 1201 right now it's a 76 percent retracement level 1198 that's a 61 percent retracement level and that's the level that this market is trying to hold we can see historical data in which it has been a resistive area an area of resistance before popping up Right now, it does appear to be support, but support is weaning. There's absolutely no doubt that as we see uh, other markets trading, we have not gotten any kind of real follow-through, follow-through in gold. In terms of some of the other markets that we're looking at, let's go ahead and take a look at those now. We are looking at a very, very long-term crude oil chart. This, of course, being a monthly chart. You can see that last month actually saw a little bit of a rise in terms of pricing. This is that low right around 40 that happened uh, roughly at the beginning of the year, January of this year. We are trading back over $50, so we have had a decent uh, price ascent in oil today. The same certainly cannot be said uh, for the equities markets. After hitting record highs in the NASDAQ, third time in history, going over 5,000, uh, S&Ps, the S&P is what we're looking at right now. That hit an all-time high yesterday, a record high, and the Dow Jones Industrial hit an all-time high yesterday. All of those three have backed off today. We can see we're at about 2105, so we're still over 2100 on the S&P. I believe that the Dow Jones is also above 18,000, closing at roughly 18,289, I think, yesterday, and uh, trading off about 150 points today, so still above uh, 18,000. NASDAQ, however, did drift back below 5,000, but you can see we've got this very, very uh, short history because we've only been near these record tops on this occasion, but you can see our current level of resistance roughly at the tw uh, 2120 area, currently trading at roughly 2105. When we look at the dollar, and this of course is our weekly chart on the dollar, you can see of course, we are at only Tuesday right now, so the this candle really hasn't had a chance to form, but you can certainly see that right here. It is still green, but it's very, very close to the open 
of the week because it's a very, very small star candle right now, but it is trading over 95. We know where these tops are just above, or I should say just around 96 in terms of the index. We can put that across like this, and we can see that that's where these tops genuinely came in. Now, these tops came in towards the end of last year, this being a weekly chart here. We'll draw this line up so you can see that this is really when we saw these highs come into the market. And then, of course, over the last couple of weeks, we saw a dramatic decline in the dollar off of these highs. But last week, that was really to turn around and put a lot of pressure on gold. And we see this rise continuing in terms of straight dollar strength. So what does that mean for gold in terms of our interim and longer term uh, outlook at this point? And really to illustrate that, we'll go ahead and pull this daily chart back up. What we have seen is very, very short rallies in which we've seen this market hit resistance before backing down to really their starting point. You can see this being the, the lows here and we're back now on the lows. We've seen this happen before here. We saw it happen here. So my sense is all things being equal we talked about the fact that we are strategically really at a crossroads and unless we see a defined turnaround in the market it really appears to me as though we could see lower pricing ahead and that's what i'm going to have to look for we've attempted uh, to see any kind of a bullish rise that has been uneventful for us except for the first trade of this year we we took 54 dollars out at this point we've given a lot of that back but the key right now is, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that we're back at this line. Because the fact, whether we're at uh, 1201 or 1203, we are just right at this particular re um, former resistance line that just for the shortest time has become support. And as I said, a break below this really signals lower pricing. And then we start going back to some of our really bearish models that we looked at towards the end of last year, before we had any kind of a breakout or a dynamic rally to the upside, we've got to go back to the strategies that we looked at then. And in terms of where we think the market's going, a pricing structure that's going to look for uh, lower prices. Now, that could all change because again, we are at this crossroads. Our major point is 1168. We're certainly not near that at all, but we absolutely have seen a series of declining tops. That was up until this point here. We actually got a higher high, but we absolutely did not see any kind of follow through in the market whatsoever. So as far as silver goes, we see that under pressure at the same time. It is trading dramatically lower. It is, though, trading uh, still above $16 per ounce. Our real level of support that we would need to see it hold is, as we've talked about, around $16.10. And right below that is approximately $15.81. Those are the levels of support that we're looking at in terms of silver. And in terms of resistance above this particular price point, you've got 32 and then 83, 1632, then 1683. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. Talk to you tomorrow for another daily update review. Bye-bye.